Today I am going to show you my top 10 city of tweaks. These are in order, so number 10 won't be too important, but still useful, and number 1, 2, and 3 will be really useful. All links and info will be in the description. Number 10 is I Know Rotate, and with that enabled, you can select the apps you want to use it for. So, say I have Safari with it now. When I open up Safari and go to this page, I don't know why, but then when I turn it sideways, it will not um, rotate at all. So that is I Know Rotate, and that is a free tweak. The next tweak is pretty cool, and this is Five Column Springboard, and it's quite self-explanatory. It has five columns in your springboard, so that is five column springboard. The next tweak is Safari Download Manager, and this is quite useful. When you tap this little icon down here, um, it'll open up a download manager in Safari with everything that you have downloaded, so that is quite useful. Tweak number seven is Covert, and this allows you to do private browsing in Safari by just tapping the new private browsing button down here, which will appear, and then you can just exit it by tapping it again. So it is quite useful because you won't have to constantly clear your history and cookies. The next tweak is Infiniboard, and this is quite useful because you can have as many icons as you want in the springboard, and it scrolls really nicely and smoothly. So that is InfiniBoard, quite useful, highly recommend getting that. The next is InfiniDock, and that's the same thing as InfiniBoard, but with the dock you can have as many icons as you want, and choose how many you want per page, or you can have paging or not, and scrolling and everything. So that is quite useful, highly recommend getting that one as well. This next one is really cool, and this is called Side Delete. When you hold over Cydia icons, usually you cannot delete them. Now you can with this, instead of having to go into Cydia through the painful um, uninstallation process. So just um, do that with Side Delete. Quite useful, highly recommend getting that one as well. Well, I highly recommend all of these, but that one is quite useful. The next tweak is called Animate, and that allows you to change your boot logo with some really cool animations. Right now I'm using an Android boot logo, I'll just preview the one I'm using now, so it's really cool. So that is called Animate, and that is the next tweak. The next tweak is called SB Settings. This is very popular. You just swipe across here and you have a really nice settings menu come up with some cool options and stuff. Um, this is not how it will look for you originally because I have a theme on it. You can get some themes for it which are really cool. This is the apple.com theme for it. So highly recommend SP settings because so you can change your brightness, put in airplane mode, all sorts of stuff like that just by swiping the, um, the top bar wherever you are. Um, yeah, so that one's quite useful. And my favorite tweak is iLock. And what this allows you to do when I turn it on here, we have lots of settings here, advanced settings. You can change a bunch of different things with your passcode lock enable and stuff, and then you can get certain types of plugins for certain type of lock, certain types of locks and stuff. So I have the pattern lock here, and um, that allows me. I'll put that on for a sec. The pattern lock. If I go down, uh, set a pattern for that. Just make it that pretty easy. Sorry. Oh, they didn't, whatever. Um, I won't show you that, but it's really easy. You can have the Android lock, and you can get different plugins and stuff. This may not, this probably isn't my number one thing. I actually, I probably use SB settings more and like that better. I'm just, I, I'm pretty bad at putting these in order. But that is iLock, and that is the video with the top 10 Cydia tweaks. Links and everything in the description. Any of these that aren't free, I'll put um, the sources you, you'll need to get them free. So that is it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and please subscribe to this channel and iOS yourself. And I will have daily videos on this channel for the next little while. I don't know, a couple weeks or so. So thanks for watching.